Thank you for joining this lesson. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades and share this link. We're going to answer our question on relative speed. Whereby we are told that a, a motorist left Embu for Nairobi, a distance of 240 kilometers, at 8 a.m. and traveled at an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. Another motorist left Nairobi for Embu at 8:30 a.m. and traveled at 100 kilometers per hour. Find the time they met. So these are two people traveling from opposite sides. We have uh, one from Nairobi and another one from Embu, such that the one from Embu started at 8 a.m. and traveled at 90 kilometers per hour. Yet the other one is starting at 8.30 a.m. and traveling at 100 kilometers per hour. So we are being taught to find the time these people met. We can first of all get the relative distance. And first of all, we will get the relative, the distance covered by the first motorist before the second one started to move. If the first one started his journey at 8 exactly then the other one at 8 30 it means before the second motorist tra started traveling the first motorist had traveled for 30 minutes which is half an hour because the first motorist is traveling at 90 kilometers and he has covered half an hour then he has traveled for 45 kilometers already therefore at 8.30 when the second motorist is, is starting his journey, the first motorist has already covered 45 kilometers. Therefore, the distance, is be the distance between them is now 195 kilometers. It was originally 240. The first motorist has already covered 45 kilometers before the other one started. So by 8.30 when the second motorist is starting his journey, because the first one has covered 45, then by 8.30 now, by 8.30 a.m., the first motorist is here, still traveling at a speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The other one starting at 100 kilometers per hour at 8.30. So now we can get what we call relative distance. Relative distance is the distance between the two motorists at any given time and by 8 30 the relative distance is the distance between them and this is 195 kilometers the relative speed can also be calculated and because they are approaching one another or they are covering the distance of 195 together then the relative speed will be the sum of their speeds this is 90 and 100 giving us 190 kilometers per hour so with relative speed and relative distance we can get relative time the time taken to cover the relative distance is what we call relative time the time taken to cover relative distance using the relative speed so this will be the relative distance 195 out of the relative speed of 190 This is giving us one hour one hour and one minute one hour and one minute therefore because they are taking one hour and one minute then the time they are meeting is 8.30 plus one hour and one minute and this is by 9 31 a.m. so these are people who will meet at 9 31 a.m. the other question which is being asked part B is find find how far they met from Nairobi how far they met from Nairobi so we can consider the motorist who is traveling from Nairobi. 
for us to get how far they met from Nairobi, then uh, we should first of all consider the distance they have taken to meet and the speed of the motorist traveling from Nairobi. Therefore, they are meeting after 195 out of 190 and the motorist from Nairobi is moving at 100 kilometers per hour. This means they are going to meet after a distance of 102.6 kilometers. 102.6 kilometers. That is the distance they will cover from Nairobi so that they may meet. Or outside Nairobi, they are meeting at 102 kilometers. Point six. Since the motorist who is from Nairobi has taken the same same time to meet the one from Embu and he is using a speed of 100. Okay, alternatively we can consider the other motorist though it will be a bit tedious. Alternatively, we can consider the first motorist who is also going to take the same same time to meet the other one. And he's going at a speed of 90, such that you take 195 times 90 divided by 190. This is giving us 92.4 kilometers. Yet he has already covered a 45 from Embu. It's already covered a 45, such that they are meeting at 137.4 from Embu. But now we want the distance from Nairobi. So from Embu to Nairobi is 240. So when we take 240 minus the distance from Embu, then we will get the distance from Nairobi. So when we take 240 and we subtract this answer, then we get 102.6 kilometers. So even if we consider the second motorist, we are still getting the same answer. So this is the distance they are meeting outside Nairobi. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link.